If you're interested in teaching your baby how to sing, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Miss Sherry with Music Time Kid, and in this video, I'm going to teach you four ways that will help you encourage your child to develop their singing voice. And even if your child's no longer a baby, these tips will work for you. But first, let's just identify that babies already have their singing voice built into their vocal development because babies' first sounds start with cooing. Cooing has a sing-song quality to it. So when you copy your baby's cooing sounds, you're modeling that sing-song quality. And while your baby is developing their vocal cords, you're encouraging them with that sing-song sound. Then when babies start their very first syllables, syllables like ma, pa, ba, da, these are all the beginning of vocal development and are the building blocks for baby babble and speech. Singing is actually putting a musical pitch to speech. And since baby has already established their sing-song quality in their cooing, it's easy to help a baby develop their singing voice as they begin baby babble. Now let's get into those four ways that you can help your child develop their singing voice. Number one, sing songs. Whether you sing familiar childhood songs or sing simple melodies using one syllable words, you can sing using nonsense syllables like this. Bum ba bum 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 ba bum 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 Singing songs to your baby will help them develop their own language and singing skills. Number two, sing responses. When your child is babbling, instead of speaking back to your child, sing some responses. Anytime you talk to your child, you can use a sing-song voice. It's fun to get silly with babbling. Use an expressive face, nodding your head, and making silly shapes with your mouth. Your little one will engage with you and realize that babbling is fun. Number three, imitate them. Babies often have a sing-song quality in their voice and as they're speaking, you can actually imitate them. It actually encourages them to continue. Hearing your response stimulates their desire to communicate with you. And before you know it, you'll have an entire conversation with your baby. Number four, listen to music. Listening to music has many benefits. If you listen to children's music, you'll begin to identify which songs resonate with your child and which songs will become their favorites. These are the songs your child will want to sing over and over and over. Language development really soars when a child is invested in the music that they listen to. I've actually created several playlists that parents love to use. I'll leave links to those in the description box below. Remember, language development is not a race Every child is unique, and while there are general milestones, every child progresses at their own rate. Every child has their own unique first words, and the time that they start putting more words together and forming actual words. So don't compare your child to anyone else. Just enjoy the journey. If you want more information and the general milestones you can expect, check out my guest post over at Modern Musical Parenting. I partnered with Modern Musical Parenting for this topic because I really love the content that Liz is creating for parents of young children. We both share the same ideals and passions that music can bring joy into your home. And through music, kids can learn practically everything. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So go check out her site. I'm sure you'll find a lot of great content over there. If you need someone to hold your hand because you're really not sure what to do and you just don't have the confidence that you can teach your child to sing, check out one of my early childhood music classes here on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the card above. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.